This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it, man. Eagles, just like the title say, Eagles must trade up for Jalen Carter. They must trade up for Jalen Carter, man. So shout out to Bleacher Report. It's a report that the Seahawks are looking at them. Um, Eagles, of course, and the Bears. Those are the three teams that are looking at Jalen Carter. Now, um, Jalen Carter is just a phenomenal player. He's phenomenal. I know the combine, all that extra stuff off the field, all the alleged stuff off the field. But Jalen Carter, undoubtedly, if I'm saying that word right, is probably the best player in this draft. Now, um, I would say this, though. If some way, somehow, Seahawks decide to get a quarterback at Anthony Richardson and not Jalen Carter, which, as a Seahawks fan, I will be pissed because you paid Geno and that defensive line sucks. Like, say if they decide, you know what, we're going to get Anthony Richardson. You got to trade up with the Detroit Lions or the Raiders. Because think about it. Detroit and the Raiders, I believe, is re- reports out there that they have Jalen Carter off their draft board anyway. You trade up, give them your 10th, and give them um, a, a second-round pick next year. I think that would be enough to get you to the 6th or the 7th. You trade up, you get Jalen Carter. Because honestly, I was reading stuff and it's starting to make sense to me. I think Jalen Carter needs the Eagles and the Eagles need Jalen Carter. What do I mean by that? Jalen Carter need that leadership. He need like a Fletcher Cox next to him. He need a Brandon Graham in his ear. He need the guys he played with in Georgia. N'Kobe Dean, who is a phenomenal leader. Um, Jordan Davis. Jason Kelsey said nice things about Jordan Davis. Like, Jordan Davis is just like a motivator. Like, he he always smile, always ready to go. And Jalen Carter, I believe, need that now. All the stuff he's gone through off the field, I think he need that leadership. He need a Howie Roseman. He need a Nick Sirianni, you know, to keep him up and going. I don't really know too much about showing the side leadership. But I know the leaders on our team start from the GM. Hell, start from Jeffrey Lurie. He need that in his life. He need that, man. And like I said, just having former teammates who you could relate to, who could be on your back. Brandon Grahams, the Fletcher Cots of the world. You need those guys, man. Slay, who could get you going and laughing. You need those leaders on our defense. On a personal standpoint, the Eagles need him. Eagles need a defensive tackle. I, I won't say generational because a lot of people hate when I use the word generational. I would say a possible all pro, uh, uh, pro bowler in this league. He is that. He is that good. So Jalen Carter, man, he, he opened up lanes. So Nicobe Dean to have his two guys he had in college, whereas though he can get through those gaps with a Jalen Carter and a uh, Jordan Davis. It, he'll be used to those guys. He's familiar with those guys. It's not only that, Jalen Carter seemed like he get gassed. He, he can get gassed a, uh, a lot. But with our defense, you really don't have to really worry about that because you got Milton Williams, got Marlon T coming back. Uh, you, you got dudes who can constantly and constantly rotate to keep his legs fresh. So I... I, I think you got to do it, man. If he get past the Seahawks, I don't know us trading up to four. That'd be, that'd be a reach. So I believe, I believe Arizona got that pick. I think they'll want a lot more. But I think if we could trade up with the Raiders or Detroit, give them a second, give them your 10th, I think that will work out for you. I think that's more realistic because if, if he get to nine, Bears picking him. Bears are going to pick him. Atlanta might pick him. Don't want to risk that because Atlanta want to go on with the quarterback that they drafted last year. They not drafting B. John because they they had a thousand yard rusher. But Bears, Bears love defense. Bears is historically known for defense. Defense been a little terrible for the past couple of years, but they historically known for defense. You don't want to risk that. 
But if he, like I said, if he get past Seattle, how we got to find a way to trade up. He got to find a way. Got to. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel, man, about Jalen Carter? Three teams I know. Seahawks who are in front of us and Bears who are only one spot in front of us. We trade up. You know, we got to do them how we did the Giants when we got Devontae Smith. And get Jalen Carter, man. And as I said before, Jalen Carter needs the Eagles on a personal level, in my opinion. And the Eagles need Jalen Carter on the field. They need that fresh mind Jalen Carter. That Jalen Carter that could get after the quarterback. That Jalen Carter that could keep the motor going. Well, he, he could slow down playing a lot of snaps. But we already got that handle. Gotta get Jalen Carter. And if not, if not, I, I, I'm telling you, I'm gonna wrap this up. If save Jalen Carter. Ah, he got to the Seahawks. He got to go Kalijah Kansi. You got, uh, I believe his name is Mozzie Smith. You got, I like Jacqueline Roy, but these are now, when I get into the Jacqueline Roy's, the Brian Breeze, those are guys develop, like, you gotta work with them a bit. You see the talent is there, like in the Brian Breeze, especially the physicality. But just some things he got to work on. But I think the Eagles can get those dudes right if it comes down to that. Or we trade back, you know, get a Nola Smith. I don't, I'm not leaving safety off the board. I like uh, Sidney Brown a lot. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm out.